I did some late night research, which I often do to my algorithms and trading strategies to determine better ways to do that. And Cobra is one of my favorite strategies. I want to show you Cobra, Cobra 3. This, this is a strategy from 2009. The original versions were 2004, 2005, and then Cobra 3, 2009. And so you can see the equity curve for this. This works in other markets with slightly different rules, but we have a basic, still have our basic Cobra pattern for those. Um, but here it is, uh, one of the best strategies that we have. Really, really nice equity curve, good average trade profit, $61.88. And you have this drawdown right here, which is, we've seen these drawdowns before. The drawdown here, and the drawdown here. And so, it, it does that sometimes, more than, more than normal. And still, it's one of my favorite strategies. But, um, and before I show you what I learned last time, I want to show you the transition of this strategy. So I came up with a strategy, a Cobra, Cobra strategy, Cobra 1 and 2 in 2004 and 2005, and then Cobra 3 in 2009, and then in 2012, I came up with the one minute version of Cobra 3. And this one minute version trades on one minute charts, but it still looks at the one minute bars. Uh, the last five one minute bars and treats it like a five minute bar strategy so it's complex to program that um, but I had it programmed and you see the results very similar results um, still the same same drawdown here um, as we've had before and so it's basically a f the five minute version trading on one minute charts so that you can use money management algorithms and incremental exits and so still considered a uh, we're looking at five minute patterns even on this one minute chart because it's looking at the five minute increments. So what did I learn last night? So I go back to uh, the other workspace with my five minute strategy and I want to minimize this and I took the same exact strategy and I put it on 15 minute chart and a one minute chart. I haven't tested any other time frames. I just simply put it on a 15 minute and a one minute and the concept was zooming out and getting outside of the noise of, of the high frequency traders and then also wanted to zoom back down and see uh, one minute is still uh, zooming out in, in perspective to high frequency traders because they're trading on milliseconds and so um, taking a look at the 15 minute chart these are the results we get going back to the same time these are all going back to 11 3 1997 um, which is the beginning of the e mini S&P day session electronic data um, but the advancers and decliners don't start, the data doesn't start until 1998. So some of the trades don't start until 1998 or 1999. Um, but you see really good results. And which further, further validates the strategy, the exact same rules. The drawdowns cut down quite a bit by about $3,000, almost in half per contract. $61 average trade profit. Keep in mind this is um, this is on 15 minute chart. The equity curve, the thing that I learned last night that's surprising that I hate that I missed is that for the last five years this this has only had this has had about a $1,900 drawdown max since 2011. A beautiful equity curve, much better than the other equity curve. These do not this does not show um, this does not include slippage and commission. So we still have a robust average trade profit for a day trade strategy in the E-mini S&P. And there's room for profit. Um, if you take about $25 average trade profit out on that, or 25 to 30, you still have a lot of room for profit. But a really nice equity curve. And the, the beauty is, is that um, it's the same strategy, different time frame. And if you look at the five minute chart, the five minute version is down while the 15 minute version is up and you see some of these trades are a little bit different um, yesterday for example we got in at the end of the day a lot of times this market lately will not it won't break at the end of the day the last hour if it's if it's selling off it'll come to the last hour and then it'll just go sideways or slightly up and so it, that's what happened here we got in at 230 and the market reversed and then it popped up overnight and um, the 15 minute version had the ability to get in early even with the same rules, the bars have bigger ranges and last a longer time, and so that affects it slightly different, a slightly different effect. And so, good diversity here because one strategy is in a drawdown while one strategy is accelerating to the upside. That's the 15-minute version. Also, plot it to the one-minute version. 
takes a little bit longer to load and it's a little bit choppier equity curve and you see it's also at equity peaks and so one minute five minute 15 minute version of this strategy the only difference on this one is that I did change one parameter there is a parameter that looks at the average range and then on the five and 15 minute chart I expect that average range of the e-mini S&P over the last several bars to be greater than two points for the one minute it had, I just want it to be greater than one point because the average range on one minute bars is smaller anyway so I just want that to be one point greater than one point and on the 5 and 15 greater than two points and so here are the results lower average trade profit a lot more trade 1638 uh, lower drawdown in the five minute version and so the, the stats are not quite as good but it trades more and so you, you get the diversity and what this tells me is that um, this further strengthens my strategy when I have the same strategy and I apply it to different time frames such as one minute and 15 minute um, it, it further strengthens this and I'll be testing this further and in other markets as well it obviously uses the advancers and decliners in this version and so advancers and decliners only really apply to stock indexes I guess you could use the inverse correlation to, to bonds um, and use that there but um, typically we don't use stock index um, related metrics to test anything other than the stock indexes so that's the update that's that's um, that's what I wished I would have been looking at the last few years is the 15 minute version of the Cobra 3 and um, it's a low frequency algorithm and so we talked about low frequency it's 1162 trades in almost 20 years and so you know we're talking 50 60 trades a year one one or two trades a week usually um, no more than one trade per day it has a max daily entry of one trade per day so this is a low frequency trading system and one that we recommend and then one we wanted to share with you today